Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. A general reminder for all you guys, for those who don't know, MIC is having a one year anniversary event where Bao is going to be trading live in front of our members. It's coming up August 17th. Mark your calendars. It's going to be huge. As an added benefit to our members, this event is 100% entirely free for exclusively to annual and lifetime members, while lifetime on top of that get extra coaching before the event and guaranteed front row seating. While most charge for these events, we show our support by making it free again for annual and lifetime members. If you are interested in signing up and or attending this event, DM me in Slack, tbradley90, and or email myself at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Now, Today, we have a very special video for you guys. One of our head moderators, Joe Kelly, every Sunday puts together a video from his how-to series, and today he's going to talk about the explanation of SSR in his Trading Basics series. And while today is just a preview of the full-length video, if you want to watch the full-length video or any of our exclusive content at MIC, then just become an exclusive member and you have access to it all. Today, we're going to talk about short sell restriction. There's been a lot of questions each day in chat that I've seen of people asking, what is SSR? I simply just Googled short sell restriction or SSR. I went to sec.gov. Short sell restriction was developed in February 2010. The commission adopted a new short sale price test restriction, which is commonly referred to as the alternative uptick rule. The alternative uptick rule is designed to restrict short selling from further driving down the price of a stock that has dropped more than 10% in one day compared to the closing price on the previous day. So what this means is in order to sell short, the stock has to make an uptick into your short order or your selling order. So you can't just enter the trade and hit the bid or hit the best bid. You can only fill on the ask. So let's break down what it looks like when a stock triggers SSR or how it triggers SSR. So OTOK on this day one run right here, SSR was active. Why was SSR still active? Well, you look back the two prior days. So we had a closing price of 103 right here. So what is our SSR level? Our SSR level means that 103 times 0.9 equals 0.927. So if on this day it went below 0.927 and it did look at the top, the low is 85 cents. You see it right here, the low is 85 cents. So that means that this day triggered SSR. So for the rest of this day, it was triggered. Now, let's go ahead and look back here at a intraday chart, just to kind of give you this detail. So here's the day that triggers SSR. It triggers it right at the open. So that does not mean that for the rest of this day and then tomorrow right at the open after this time it undo no do not overcomplicate this for the rest of this day ssr was triggered and for the next day it was triggered as well okay so now that the closing price is 91 cents on this day that means that it's got to go 10 percent below 91 in order to trigger and if you look here it gaps way up and it can't trigger okay Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T O S H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.